I'm Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. This is Movement Fix Monday, and I'm once again joined by Chris Johnson, PT. And what we're gonna talk about in this video is people's foot and how it gets crammed up in their shoe and they lose all dexterity in between their toes, between their big toe and their little toes, uh, how that affects blood supply, how it affects running and lifting um, and all that kind of stuff. So you can see we are non or unshod, Correct. which is like the yeah. research way to say we're not wearing shoes or yeah. we're shod is wearing shoes, right? I don't know Correct. why, I yeah. guess that's a word. Uh, anyways, the way I think about shoes and how most people live their life is like, if I kept my hands in mittens, mm -hmm for my whole life. And then I took my hand out of my mitten and I went, people can move their hands like this? That's, that's No, that's not possible. And it's like, well, if I didn't have my hands in mittens my whole life, maybe I could move them around a little bit more. We put our feet in shoes and we never actually move our toe around. We just move it as a block and uh, maybe not the best thing in the world. So Chris is gonna show some nice drills to do to move around your big toes and your other toes and splay and all that stuff. So I'm gonna hand over the mic. I'm gonna man the camera. We're gonna show some feet. You're gonna see if I can splay my toes or not. So uh, here we go. So I first started developing an appreciation for toe dexterity. Um, I was out on a run uh, over the holidays a couple years ago and it was cold. I'm from Pittsburgh. so. Um, cold weather, I had a shoe that was probably a little bit too narrow in the toe box and I had snugged the laces up a, a bit more than I usually do. And I just started basically cramming my forefoot into the toe box. And I got home and I was able to complete the run and then started developing a lot of pain thereafter, um, right at the basically the second MTP joint. So one of the things I noticed is I, I was gripping a lot with my third, fourth and fifth toes. And uh, my wife will always say, I, I hope our daughter gets your legs and my feet um, because you know I have crazy toes. But nonetheless, one of the things that I look at with pretty much every runner that comes in to see me is how their toe function is. So you know the things that I specifically look at, great toe dorsiflexion, lesser toe plantar flexion, vice versa. And when I'm plantar flexing, the first MTP, I'm also activating the flexor hallucis brevis, which is the only intrinsic muscle of the foot to provide support for the medial longitudinal arch. And I'll also work on just splaying. All right, and this is probably something that's very important as it relates to blood flow. There's some unpublished data uh, in that regard. So again, you're also getting an idea into the motor function. So we're also assessing um, uh, things as part of a lower quarter screen. So you just get a wealth of information. I see people gripping all the time, which again doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have pain, but I think that there's a better strategy. And people are doing this also even when they're in their shoes. So it's no surprise that we start to see a lot of structural deformities such as hammer toes and claw toes at the level of the foot, especially if you're in a shoe that pinches your forefoot. So again, the other benefit of this is you can practice this stuff any time of the day. So when folks ask me, you know, how much do I train, I always say, well, I'm actually training right now and I'm doing this in my shoe. So again, toe dexterity, often overlooked, um, has a, a wealth of benefits. So next time you are working with someone or if you want to just practice it on your own, give it a shot. You may not pick it up like that. Stay persistent and within a couple weeks you'll have it. So. Give that a shot with your athletes, Ryan, and, uh, and let me know what you think. Okay. All, right, all right, so uh, quite the foot and toe dexterity. Uh, I've been working on this quite a bit. I'm a little bit better on my right than my left, but so let's see what I got here. So, the, so move number one is kind of lifting up the big toe, pushing the other little toes down. Ugh. Number two is big toe down, little toes up. Totally feel that in the medial arch, by the way. And then the splaying. I have found the splaying to be the hardest. Um, so I'm going to try to splay these guys and you can see I get a little bit of space between those toes but yeah if your foot is jammed up in your shoe like this all day and just eh, gripping with your toes and curled up like this you know it's no surprise that the foot and anything up the chain can have an issue so working on going here going here and then working on this splaying and I swear there's people who can like play the guitar with their feet so I'm guessing that I could move these even more if I really trained it but oh that felt like a good splay right there Anyway, so working on this when you're standing, when you're doing all that stuff, 
you know, if you try to deadlift and your foot is all crammed up, it's not as good of a base for lifting as having a foot that has a broader uh, area of contact. So that is definitely some stuff to work on. Uh, there's also these things called toe spacers that are pretty effective, and I think Urson sells them on his site. Uh, and that actually takes, you put them between your toes and it helps display the toes and improve blood flow and things like that. So uh, anyways, get those feet moving around, take, take your feet out of the mittens, so to speak, and start moving those toes around and uh, get some blood flow, get a little bit more strength in the foot, get a little bit more dexterity, mind-body connection, gonna be super helpful for a lot of things. So thanks again to Chris for swinging by and uh, showing us this drill with the feet. And if you don't already like The Moot Fix on Facebook, make sure you go to facebook.com slash The Moot Fix, follow me there. Also check out The Moot Fix on Instagram, at The Moot Fix. I'll see you guys next week.